Hi you guys, hola, esta mas caliente, it's a little bit more hot right now. Solo quiero decir, I want to show you guys this thing, it's false Aurelia. I made a video about this a couple of years ago I think, but it's such a dinky little plant when you grow it at home. And then when I come here, I didn't even know this could get this big, like look at the stems. And I was talking to one of the locals and apparently this tree can grow upwards of 60 years, like it's a really long-lived plant. Um, so that was one thing that I wanted to show you guys because that's just absolutely wild. You would never ha find that in Canada. Uh, they have philodendron UPI growing up here. It's attached to this huge bottle palm that I just wanted to show you guys. And there's a little bit more ficus bengalensis over there. And even the pigeons are different here. Like, it's insane. Like, even the grass is different. I don't know if you can see. It's like a trailing creeping grass. But so yeah, this is just the big thing that I wanted to show you right now. I mean, this, you would never get an Aurelia of this size in Canada unless you were like magic. So I just wanted to say that. And then I also wanted to go over here because I wanted to show you this cathedral. It's so pretty. This is El Catedral de San Hidalgo or El Catedral de la Mejorada. Really, really beautiful, really old. This is, I think like the fourth oldest cathedral in Mexico. Uh, I don't know if you can see it from here, but just past over there you have Catedral de San Ildefonso, which is actually the oldest cathedral in the whole Western Hemisphere. So, little tidbits of information about this place that I just wanted to share because, I don't know, I have the platform to do so and you guys like looking at plants. So, ooh, look at this. Around every corner here, there's just something totally new. So this is a croton. Look at the size of this croton, you guys. It's huge. It's even flowering right now. And it's getting pollinated by some sort of local uh, fly. And as you can see, this is very, very well established. And the thing that really shocks me about Merida in particular is the soil that they're growing in. Like, the, don't get me wrong, there's really fertile soil around here. But the soil that these plants are growing in particularly is very poor. It's very sandy but they're doing well. There's some palms over there that are starting to seed. Look at this wall work. This wall work uh, dates to the colonization by the Spaniards several hundred years ago, almost like forever ago it seems, and it's still standing. I don't know if you can see over there, there's strangler figs and a uh, different type of fig, and I'm gonna definitely have to take a video of that because I think that might actually be a fiddle leaf fig. Uh, Ficus lirata, the one that's like super popular in North America these days, especially in Canada, I find. Um, America, <laughs> like Mexico's not part of North America. Mexico's definitely part of North America. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling on now. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Stay blessed and I'll try to keep these little random videos coming, okay? Stay blessed.